What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again bringing you guys some more ranked competitive battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are having some fun with it. We are using an Ice Face Ice Q team with Belly Drum. Should be a fun one, cool combination that you guys haven't seen on the ranked ladder yet. So I cannot wait to use it and try to grab some wins for you guys. You guys are in a deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. I also want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Andy VGC. Thank you so much for making this team and making it about the code. I will be linking his channel down in the description below. So if you guys want more info on the team and the Poke Pace, head over to his channel. But like I said, we have Ice Q today. And the main concept behind this is Ice Q's ability. It's Ice Face. So when it's hit with a physical attack and move the, for the first time, it will actually knock off its Ice Face and take no damage. Kind of like Mimikyu's Disguise. But the cool part about this is if it is without its ice face say it already got hit and you set up a hail or a snowstorm whatever you want to call it its ice face will then come back and it can take another physical attacking shot without taking damage so we have tornadus on the team to pair up with snowscape so we can constantly refresh that ice face and maybe try to set up belly drum and get ripping with sq or ice q so should be a fun one definitely should be a fun one hopefully we get to pull off this combo but first pokemon is going to be shen pao on the scene shen pao has its normal setup it's got the ghost terror type normal move set nothing really to talk about there amoongus in our second slot pretty normal setup there but this one has the clear smog it's got the rage powder support bomb puff rocky helmet regenerator really like it with the rocky helmet especially with the amount of physical attackers that are in the meta at this moment Third Pokemon is going to be that Ice Q. Super excited to be using this Pokemon, considering I haven't used them in Scarlet and Violet yet. It's got Protect, Liquidation, Belly Drum, and Ice Spinner with Citrus Berry, and like I already mentioned, its ability, Ice Face. Urshifu is in our fourth slot, arguably the strongest Pokemon in Regulation D, with Unseen Fist and the Chewy Scarf, U-Turn, Aqua Jet, Surge Strikes, and Close Combat. Probably the best moveset for a Chewy Scarf Urshifu. In our lovely little fifth slot we got choice ban regilecki so all physical attacking besides e-web that's kind of just there for speed control but this thing has e speed with the normal terra wild charge and explosion so you can pair him ne up next to shen pao shen pao can terrestrialize into ghost you can explode get some crazy damage and get going from there Tornadus is our final Pokemon, nice support Pokemon, and we already mentioned the Snowscape with its uh, moveset for the Ice Cube, but it also has Tailwind, Taunt, and Bleak Wind Storm with the Covert Cloak as its item. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself, rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, let's grab some wins with this Belly Drum Ice Cube team. Hopping into our first matchup for today's video, going up against a Shen Pao Dragonite and Urshfu team with Tornadus, Golden Go, and Amunga. So a lot of strong Pokemon here. I kind of want to try to get SQ out here and get rocking with him. I think that could be a great little call. Go SQ, go Tornadus, set up the Belly Jump, set up a Tailwind potentially, and then Snowscape and get the Hail rolling if need be. I could definitely get down with that. I do definitely like that. Plus, we get some speed control in there with Tornadus. I like Shen Pao here, and I also like Urshfu, right? Urshfu is going to be solid. I could go in the maybe to Regilecki because E speed could be good, but I like Urshfu. I like Urshfu just because I can choice into a bunch of different cool moves, get really ripping with them. I'm all about it. So that's going to be the squad I'm bringing in here. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. But something that I want to mention is I just want to apologize for yesterday's no upload. We've been pretty consistent, so hopefully you guys do understand. I was actually away. I was an hour and a half away in a different town playing hockey. I had three games, so I was there. I had a game at 10, 3, and 7. So, again, I was there all day. But I actually played really, really well. We went 2-1 and one on the day. I had a goal and assist in game 1, two goals and assist in game 2, and then one goal in game Three. actually really really fun we had a good weekend it was actually the uh what was it the last day of the season and i ended third in the league in points but my buddy actually not my buddy well my buddy and line mate i should say ended first and actually got mvp for the league so it was a good weekend but we got playoffs coming up in a month so it'll be pretty cool and i'll keep you guys updated but let's see who our opponent leads back to the action back to the action but yeah i had a really good weekend i actually played really well actually actually outdid myself i outdid myself so i felt good about it but I wonder who they're going to lead. I'm hoping we can get SQ out here and just get pumping, man. Just start slapping up on people. It would be nice. Just get things rolling here strong with, with SQ. But they're going to end up leading Golden Go. Ooh. Golden Go and Mew. Um, that's kind of scary, right? We don't really like that too much. Um, mm, I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. Um, Do I still Belly Drum? Potentially, maybe. 
I mean, I definitely want Tarras on Shiro. I'm not trying to deal with all that. Um, I could get Belly Drum, and I could just taunt Amoongus. I am cool with that. I'm cool with taunting Amoongus here. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I'm going to taunt Amoongus just so it can't, can't play no games with me. And we'll Tarras slice into water just so we're not taking a ridiculous amount of damage from a make it rain here, right? He might Rage Powder turn one. Hopefully he's going for like a Spore or something. We could just taunt. Kind of get rid of that. I mean, if he Rage Powders, he Rage Powders. But he's going to end up Terrasalizing Gold to go into Steel. Into Water. A nice little Water Gold to go. That's such a tough typing for us. It really is. It's such a tough typing for us. Especially for uh, for SQ. Because I was going to hit him hard with an Ice move or a Water move next turn. And this thing Terrasalizes into the most perfect typing. So we go Strictly Water here as well. Got a little SQ, and look at its little uh, Terra crown. It's just on top. It's not on top of its head. It's on top of its little hair. So it's kind of just there. <laughs> it's kind of funny. So we end up taunting Amoongus. Hopefully this thing's not mental hurt. Probably not, right? I highly doubt it. And this thing just goes for a Shadow Ball. That's fine. I mean, I can deal with that. So we're soaking up. We're eating up. And Belly Drum is now going to come out here. So we do Belly Drum out here. Um, I can get rid of Amoongus. I could get rid of Amoongus. We got the Citrus Berry popping out here. Um, What is the play here? Do I Bleak Wind Storm? Do I just Bleak Wind Storm here and maybe just Ice Man? I could get rid of Amoongus right here right now. But I kind of want to go after Gold. Because what I'm thinking of is just going into Ice Spinner. Or actually we can go into Liquidation. Probably do more damage. I could swap into Shen Pao and just Bleak Wind Storm. I think that's gonna be my play. We'll save we'll save the rest of the match for Shen Pao and Urshifu. So they have a nice little counter for us. Of course, the water tower is really doing me dirty. He ends up withdrawing Amoogus. That's totally fine. And who are you gonna go into? Because we're not going into the ice move in that slot. Who are you going into? It's a real question. You're going into Shen Pao, that's fine. Swords of Ruin do come out here, and actually. Oh, I was gonna say that actually helps us out here. But now he's got Sucker Punch. He's ready to go. He's ready to take me out. Smart little play by him. Can we land a Bleak Wind Storm though? Can we please land this Bleak Wind Storm? Of course we miss it. Like, come on, man. What is that about? That really hurts, man. That really hurts. Because now my SQ's dead and we can really get no value out of him. That's terrible. Um, I'm just going to protect you, I guess. And do I set up the Tailwind? For the rest of the match? Could be really good for us. I am going to set up the Tailwind. That hurts, man. That hurts right there. We just set up this SQ and got no value out of it. We we'll definitely have to use him in match number two. But still. Great plays for our opponent, just perfect terror typing from him. Of course, he protected the uh, the golden go. Everything worked out perfectly. He just got a free swap because he had to protect. And of course, I'm missing my Bleak Wind Storms. I always miss my Bleak Wind Storms. All day. All day. It's, it's a tough matchup for me. But I believe he's going to go into a Sucker Punch in the SQ. Or even just like a normal attack. And go from there. So he ends up swapping, probably going into Dragonite, showing his full squad. Or are you going back into Amoongus? You do. Amoongus is back here. We're going to protect the SQ. I do have Ice Face. I should have realized that and just actually attacked that turn. Sucker Punch does come out here. We, we can eat this. We can eat this move up. We can, yeah, I forgot. We have Ice Face. We can actually eat this turn up, which is big time. So you know what? I am going to get rid of Amoongus here. And I'm just going to drop Bleak Wind Storm. Yes, I'm all about it. So he ends up, oh my god, protecting Amoongus. It really hurts his soul, man. It really hurts. Here comes a Bleak Wind Storm. Can we get some damage off on the Shen Pao? Thank you. We landed on Shen Pao. Give me a speed drop. Give me a speed drop. Make th make life easier for me. Cool. We get the speed drop. So we, I am going for the Ice Spinner. He's blocking it. I remember, I got the Ice Face, which is awesome. He ends up going for the Ice Spinner. Are you taking out Tornados? I would actually like that. You are taking out Tornados. I like that. Actually, a little bit, I want to set up Hail again later, Rescue, but I still have my Ice Face, which I'm loving. So I'm going to get rid of Amoongus here. I am also going to get rid of Shen Pao. Or not, yeah, I'm also going to get rid of Shen Pao. Do I go into Urshifu here? I'm choosing to the Surgeon Strikes, or do I wait? I mean, I can actually U-turn out. I can actually U-turn out. So I'm going to U-turn, get rid of Shen Pao, because I will outspeed it. He can Sucker Punch me if he wants to. And I'm going to Ice Spinner, get rid of Amoongus here as well. Actually, ooh. This is tough because if he rage powders the shot. Potentially can, right? Potentially can rage powder. 
I'm still gonna go for the U-turn. I'm still gonna go for this. So he ends up just withdrawing the Shen Pao. That's fine. And I still have my SQ. Who are you gonna go into here? Who are you going into, kind sir? You're gonna go into back in the gold again. So I'm gonna hard swap in the Shen Pao. He's just gonna rage powder out. That's fine. I'm gonna get rid of Moogus here. Moogus is gone. And again, I still have SQ thriving. Still have him thriving. So I'm gonna go into Shen Pao. I will take some damage with Rocky Helmet, but still, I'll have him in the back end, which is huge. I will have him in the back end. So now I go into Shen Pao. We got some speed here. We're looking pretty good. And we're actually getting value out of Eski, which is awesome. Which is lovely. This is such a good match. Eski's going to be able to take him out. No problem. See you later. We are going to take some Rocky Helmet damage, I believe. And yeah. And go from there. Okay. So, again, if they have first turn priority moves, I'm not really scared of it, considering we can eat it up. And I think he's going to go into Shen Pao and just try to sucker punch him. But with that Ice Face, that's lovely. That is lovely. So we got some speed going here. How many turns left in Tailwind? I think we have one more turn left in Tailwind, which is big time for us. And let me see. Yeah, we have one more turn left in Tailwind. So from here, what do I want to do? What does Jeans want to do here? Because I could double down into you. I could double down into Golden Go. But you know, from here, I'm going to do that. And do I Sacred Sword or Sucker Punch? Sucker Punch will do more into this thing. So, I'm gonna do that. We have one more turn left to Tailwind. We might end up seeing double protects just to waste out Tailwind. We will see. This is such a good match. This is such a good match because we still have the Urshi. We still have the Urshi and I would love to get off as much damage as I can on top of this thing right here. Which is nice. That's half. And he ends up going for a Sucker Punch in the Shen Pao. That's big time. So, we get to waste out this turn. Probably going for a Make It Rain. Liquidation is going to finish off um, Shen Pao here. And we'll go from there. I'm thinking maybe I should have doubled down in the Golden Go because we might have been able to get rid of it with that on field. So he ends up going for a Make It Rain. That will finish off SQ. That will bring me down to Sash. And Sucker Punch will KO that Golden Go. This is actually tough because it's probably Dragonite in the back end. And I can't really do much up against Dragonite. If it is Dragonite. Oh my lord. What a match. What a match. We might end up losing this one, but still all around good match they really had like a nice counter in the beginning but having sq with that ice face really came up big they, they couldn't ko without gold to go really so my tailwind is gone i am gonna go into urshi and he might end up just protecting golden go so i might hit that thing with urshifu and then maybe just keep shen pao or maybe just protect it but this is probably dragonite right it is and that's that's tough full customer right there that's a tough full customer i don't really know how we can counter that I mean, I feel I feel that's the only way we can counter that would maybe be like a close combat. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how we're gonna do this. I think maybe I just go Surgeon Strikes here and I just protect you. It's my that's my only way. I don't I don't think we can KO like I can KO the uh, Golden Gun right now if I want to, but just the E speeds coming into me, it's just terrible. It's tough news. Perfect terror types, just perfect typings for, for my matchup here. Really hurts me. So I go protect onto the Shen Pao. I think E speed is coming in hot here. Yep. We get the block. We're gonna surge the strikes. Take off the multi scale. We're gonna try to try to go from there, right? That one's multi scale. How much are these next ones gonna do? About the same. So we're chipping up slowly, getting some crits. And I might look to just double protect here. Shadow Ball is going to fly here. How much damage is that doing? Probably a lot. Yeah, this is a bear. This is a real bear. He's just going to E-speed me down again. Definitely just E-speeding me down again. I'm going to go into certain strikes. I'm going to look to chunk up some more damage. And I don't really know what I should do. I think I have to go for double protect. I have to go for double protect. And I land over that. Hold up. Wait a minute. Maybe I should have gotten rid of the what's called here. He speed comes back into me. Maybe he'll miss a shadow ball. How much damage are we doing here? I don't think we're KOing this thing. Wow, yo. We landed the double, double protect and almost pulled this off. Almost pulled this off. This thing's going to be on like one. Oh my lord. If we pick up the KO there, that could have been a that could have been a victory for us. 
Shadow Ball is going to come in here, probably finish me off, right? No, you ne- Do you have a shot here? I think I have to go for Triple Protect, right? I'm trying to figure this out. Why is this thing on 1 HP? I gotta go for Triple Protect. He's, he's speeding me again. I'm going for it. Ah, oh, man, 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 man. I go for a triple protect. He finally gets his E-speed off onto me. We tried. We tried so hard. We tried, and that's going to be game. I knew once Dragon I came out here was going to be a tough one. That hurts, man. But good good Terror type. Their Terror type actually won in the game. This Golden Go right here. This Golden Go with that perfect Terror type for my SQ. Ends up Shadow Ball me. Gonna finish me off. Match number one goes to her opponent. Let's hop into her second match. Use SQ a little bit more and win that one, actually. Second match is on its way. We're sitting 1-0. Well, not 1-0. We're sitting 0-1. Wish we were 1-0. But uh, looking to get out SQ a little bit more here. And I actually might lead it here. I kind of like it. So I'm going to go SQ. I'm going to go Tornado again because I really want to showcase it out and get ripping with it. And then I'm going to go Shen Pao in the back end. And then last but not least, could go Urshifu. I don't mind him, but I think Regilecki might be a tad bit better, especially with the normal terror type. Urshifu can be good up against a few, but still, they got a water type. They have a Heatran that will probably terrestrialize into grass. They also have Frost Moth. I just think Regilecki will be a bit better here for us. They also have a Moongus. Yeah, Regilecki's going to be a little bit better. So I'm going to go Regilecki here. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. Like I said, we're sitting at 0-1. So we're looking for a first victory for today's video, but that Golden Go with the most perfect terror type on me, Nice little water. Ooh, that one hurt. Definitely hurt. Definitely hurt. But again, match number two is here. Let's go. Let's go and grab ourselves our first victory. I'm kind of hoping they're leading like physical attackers or something so I can set up a belly drum. I would adore that. So I was able to get it off last round, but still, everything was not very effective that I was using on my opponent. Plus, they were swapping really well. So they am going into Urshfu and Frost Moth. Okay, so the Urshi Ursh and the Frost Moth come out here. Um. I definitely want to set up belly drum. I definitely want to set up belly drum, and I think I am gonna go for. A, do I go for Talon or do I just bleak wind storm across the board? Here? I'm gonna go for bleak wind storm here. I think Tornado's gonna eat up shots to get off Tailwind next turn, which could be very, very good for us. If not, we can always just go into Regilecki and slow them down. And of course, we're missing bleak wind storms. Who dodged it? Of course, Urshfu dodged it. I would have loved to hit Urshfu with that in half its health. And he ends up Tailwind. So like I said, Tornado's going to be able to eat up whatever shot he has to offer. And we can set up Tailwind next turn. And then end up Ice Spinner. Maybe. Can we eat that up, actually? We can. Cool. So my calculations were correct. Cool. Cool. So I get off a free Belly Drum this turn. Frost Moth ended up Tailwind. I would now Tailwind this turn. And I really, really wish we landed at Bleak and Storm Moth that I urged Could have just been big time for us. So from here, now I might Terrastalize, and I'm thinking of doing that just so I can get rid of Frost Moth. And at the same time, if he wants to go into, say, Surge of Strikes into me, I can actually eat up some shots. And I'm just going to set up Tailwind on, on Tornado Sling. Cool. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Frost Moth does outspeed my SQ, though, which is a little tough news. But I'm cool with this. So I'm going to uh, Terrastalize you, and I can go in the Regilecki next turn. I can't go in the Regilecki next turn if I, if I need to and just get rid of the Urshka. So I like it. I like it a lot. So we Terrastalize the SQ yet again. Look in the showcase. <clears throat> the Penguin here. <coughs> and he actually Aqua Jets. And it, for some reason, well, not for some reason. I know why, but it goes past everything and actually finishes me off. So I do not get off Tailwind. My attack harshly drops here. I should still be able to KO Frost Moth here. I'm still plus one of my plus four. Yeah, get that thing on at you. We don't we don't need to deal with that. So now without Tailwind, that really throws the match, right? It, it turns the ties here because Aqua Jet was so big. But I would really like to go into you. Do I go Shen Pao or do I go into Regilecki? I still have Ice Face, but I would love to get rid of Urshfu. I think we gotta waste out some turns. I'm gonna go to Shen Pao here. I'm gonna go to Shen Pao just for the reason I might double protect here. And try to waste out some Tailwind turns. He's going to go into Heatran, potentially Terrastalize. And I might read that Terra. 
I am actually gonna read that tarot. I'm gonna stay in here with Eskew. I'm gonna ice spinner into the uh, the heat chance slot, and we're gonna say it's going into grass because for the most part they do go into grass. But I want to see how much that that dropped my attack two stages. Yeah, we're still plus four. So from here, I am just gonna go into an ice spinner into this slot, and I'm thinking of just me doing damage to Urshifu, or do I protect this turn? Hmm. He hits through protect, so I gotta attack. I might sucker punch. No, we're gonna go for Sacred Sword into Urshifu. Again, I think he tried to last slice into grass all day here. Correct? Am I correct on that? I think I'm correct on that. I think I'm correct on that. For the most part, these guys are grass fiends. These guys are grass fiends. And it goes into air. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. I'm still super effective on that. I can still do some big time damage. We'll see how he wants to play this one. He's going to start the strikes here, and we might be able to eat that up. I think it is 50. Yeah, we should be fine here. We should be fine. Heat Tram might go into a Heat Wave, but I'm kind of hoping it doesn't. Let's see. Maybe we can dodge Heat Wave. We actually outspeed him, so we get off a of Sacred Sword, chipping up some nice damage. Just for a Magma Sword. We should be able to soak that. All day. All day. And now SQ. Won't be able to rip here. Gonna be able to take this thing out. Cool. So we get rid of Heatran on that big time read. That's a big time read. That is a big time read. So we still have Regilecki in the back. And Regilecki's gonna be big time for us. It really depends on who their final Pokemon is here. It really depends. And we still have our Ice Face for any physical attackers who want to hit SQ. He's gonna go into a, a physical attacker. Okay, we take that. So from here, uh, I'm gonna go into an Ice Spinner into Bax Caliber. And I'm also going to try to Sucker Punch back Excalibur because we know Urshifu's going for that Aqua Jet. And how many turns left in this Tailwind? Should be last turn, right? Last turn? Last turn. That's big. That's big. But yeah, I'm going to double down the back Excalibur here. Urshifu's going to Aqua Jet into my... Oh, wait a minute. What are you going for here? You going for a Dragon Dance? You are Dragon Dancing. Okay. You are Dragon Dancing. And what is Urshifu going for? I'm super surprised he didn't just Aqua Jet me there. Went for Surge and Strike, so you actually got lucky there. You got real lucky there. That's cool. I get to bring out Regilecki. Tailwind is now gone. That's big time, and we'll see how much damage we're doing here. How much damage are we doing with this Ice Spirit? We're plus four. SQ ripping half HP. Half HP, Tailwind's gone. We still have our Ice Face. I can now go into you. All right, do I slow him down with speed? I mean, speed don't really matter. I think we just go into another Ice Spinner to finish this thing off. And we just wild charge this Urshifu for slot. We might detect, but still, we're choosing in that wild charge here. I think that's our play all day. 252 speed. If he is... Okay, he's just going to aqua jet me down. We have Ice Face, so we eat that. We have Ice Face, which is lovely. It's a beautiful sight. Ice Face comes out here. We are going to go for the wild charge. We are going to finish you off. And now, what are you doing, Baxcalibur? I'm scared, because this is coming down to it. This is coming down to it. Go after my Regilecki or something. Goes for EQ? Which we eat. Which we eat, and I think we finish off this match. Correct? SQ clutches up. SQ clutches up. Should be able to finish them off. Awesome. Awesome. Yo, what a second match. SQ absolutely dominate. That is what I wanted for today's video. Awesome second match. One and one. Let's go hop into our third and final. And grab ourselves a winning record. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. SQ getting out there and absolutely ripping there in match number two. That's exactly how I want to use it in match number one, but the typing advantage really got to us. But third and final battle, we're one and one. Let's grab ourselves a winning record going up against Hisui and Guja, who is arguably the bulkiest Pokemon in the game at the moment. Cresselia, Fluttermane, Iron Bundle, and then Iron Hands and Ursula. So definitely a Trick Room team. Uh, they could also go into Fluttermane or, uh, and Iron Bundle, which are non-Trick Room Pokemon. But I highly see them going into Trick Room, right? I think Cresselia is going to be potentially Mental Herb. So maybe we might not even want to go into like our Taunt Pokemon. But I'm thinking like Amoongus is going to be great here just in case Talon wants to come out here. And I also think Urshfu is going to be pretty solid. Because I, I like Urshfu, especially with the Choice Scarf. He can outspeed a lot. He can definitely outspeed a lot. So I'm going to go into Urshfu here. And... Hmm. They're going to say, like, Regilecki, in case you want to go Deli Bird. We can actually slow down things. We can really start ripping. I like that. We're going to go into these two. I'm going to bring Shen Pao and 
Amoogus in the back end. So no SQ, no Twinatus in this third and final match, considering we are looking to actually win this one. Because I'm, I'm one and one, but SQ is real deal. SQ is a real deal. You just gotta you just gotta make sure that you're putting him up against a team that he can really thrive. A lot of physical attackers, and that's why I liked him in the last match. They had the Urshifu, they had the Bax Caliber, everything worked out perfectly. And if uh if we did not have that ice face ability, we would have lost that match because Aqua Jet would have did enough damage to actually make my boy not be able to eat up a shot of the EQ. But he ends up going into these two. Um I mean, this seems like a free Surge and Strikes in this slot. I mean, Trick Room's going to be pretty free for them. And I might just hard swap you into maybe a Moogus. Because if you're going to Trick Room, I'm going to swap into a Moogus here. But yeah, I'm definitely going to go into a Surge and Strikes. I just think it's a smart play. If he wants to protect Ursa Luna, I hit through it. So I'm going to swap into a Moogus here. You can set up Trick Room. I can then have the Celeste Pokemon on the field. And I can really get going. But he ends up just withdrawing Ursula Luna. So smart play from our opponent. We go withdrawal for withdrawal. He's going to get off Trick Room. And this is not going to do any crazy damage. Plus he could then fake me out. Which is kind of tough. It is kind of tough. So we chuck up some nice damage. Get all those crits going here. And we'll roll out from here. So this is Trick Room. So fake out 1000% coming out here. And I it probably faking out my moves, right? You're probably faking out my Amoogus. And from here, I'm going to stick with my Surge Strikes. And I'm going to keep chunking up onto the Iron Hands. I just think it's my play. And I mean, I'm going to go for a Spore if I can get off a Spore on the Crest. So if you do not fake out the Crest, or if you do not fake out my Amoogus, we're just going to Spore the Crest. So he ends up Terrasalizing. He Terrasalizing. The Iron Hands come out. Grass Iron Hands? Of course it is. Of course it is. The Grass Iron Hands here. Maybe thanks for putting him to sleep, but we're actually putting the Crest to sleep, which is good for us. And yeah, Night Night Crest. Night Night Crest. We end up putting Crest to sleep. Um, and Drain Punch is going to fly here. The Drain Punch doing about half damage. You're going to get back a decent amount of HP. A little bit of the bar. And we'll probably just take that away from him because we're not doing anything crazy to him here. So right now, we're just wasting out Trick Room Turns. We're going to turn the Surgeon Strikes into Crest after this. I'm surprised he did not go for a Wild Charge here, right? A little odd. A little odd. I might Hard Swap at this point. I might hard swap and save my my Urshifu. I could always pile and puff it if I want to, but I think just hard swap maybe going into Regilicky at this time. Could be solid. Could be solid. But I'd rather have Urshifu for later than other guy. Mm. You know what? I think I'm just going to keep him in here. If he wants to go for a wild charge, he can go for a wild charge. It's not that big of a deal. So we'll go into Surgeon Strikes. We are just going to go into a Palm Puff. How much damage are we going to do? Probably nothing crazy, but still better than better than nothing in the Iron Hands. So I'm going to Palm Puff and do that. Okay, so that's not bad. Are you Wild Charging? Yeah, that's fine. So hopefully Crest is still asleep because at this point, another Palm Puff will KO Iron Hands. And right now, we are slowly just wasting out these Shrink Turns. We're just slowly wasting out these Shrink Turns. So Crest is still asleep. Big time. Big time. So from here, I'm going to go into you. And, hmm. Do I go for a Sucker Punch in the Crest? Do we think Crest is attacking? A lot of, sometimes Crest only have attacking moves. Do I, do I just Ice Spinner it? Hmm. I'm going to try to get off the Sucker Punch. I'm really going to try to get off the Sucker Punch. I would actually really like if we can land a Sucker Punch, that'd be big. And we're going to stick with the Palm Puff into this slot. I think it's cool. So he ends up just withdrawing Iron Hands. That's fine by me. And again, I hope Crest is just clicking that attack button. But I can always sport Ursula in the next turn if I want to. And it's not. What are you doing, Crest? I'm really confused to us what you're doing. You resetting Trick Room? I highly doubt it, right? Crest is asleep three turns. That's big time. That's big time. So this thing is burned. Now I can't put to sleep. Um, and how many turns are left in Trick Room? One. This seems as like a simple protect for us. On this slot. And then potentially just a... Do I swap or do I stay with the movies? Because I can swap into you. EQ is going to be scary. That's the thing. I don't want to... I don't want to swap into him. He go for an EQ. EQ scary. So I'm just going to simply protect this turn and I 
And I guess I'll just chunk up some more damage onto the, uh, maybe Crash. I don't know. This is tough, because we're wasting out these trick turns. He withdraws Ursula. That's an odd swap. Real odd swap there. And Iron Hands comes back at him. So Iron Hands is here. I think he wants to fake out. And that's, this is when I'm going to Terrastalize into... This is when I Terrastalize into Ghost. So I'm going to Terrastalize into Ghost next turn. We're going to Pomp off. Chip up a little bit of damage here. This thing might be leftovers. We'll see what he wants to do. He's just going to go for a Lunar Blessing. So yeah, Crest is really just there for support purposes. So Trick Room is gone, correct? Trick Room is out of here. So chances are they want to set up another Trick Room. So from here, you know what? I'm just going to Terrastalize and Ice Spinner the slot down. And I'm going to look to Spore. I'm going to look to keep this Crest to, to sleep. Like, I'm not dealing with it. And I think Fake Out might even come into the Shen Pal slot. I'm gonna, that's why I'm Terrastalizing the Ghost. Solid, solid match here. We still have Regilecki in the back end. So if I can keep Trick Room off the board here... That could be a very, very solid, solid play for us. So it's tough to keep Trick Room off the board here. Ice Spinner does fly, and yeah, we are going to actually keep ice, uh, this off the board. So I'm putting Crest right back to sleep. It's probably looking to get off another Trick Room for Ursaluna. And that means Amoogus is going to go first. Cool. Unless you're not going for Trick Room. That's, I mean, that's fine by me. Then you go for Lunar Blessed. Try to keep that thing alive. You try to keep it alive. Now Spore is going to fly here. I'm spore spamming. Nah, a little bit, not really. I'm not double spore spore and Pokemon. I'm just trying to keep this crest away from this. Like this is really my only way of winning. Is to just keep the crest under control, not letting it trick room. Because then Ursulina can just come out there. But now I have Shen Pao in that ghost typing, which is pretty solid. I like the typing. And Iron Bundle isn't gonna come out here. So Iron B does come out here. Um I think Rage Powder is gonna be our best friend. And we just take a sword to slot. And then we'll go from there. Because I have Regilecki with each speed if we need it. But I'm just... I think I think, I think think my work here is done with Amoogus, right? Potentially. Free Strike comes out here. We actually might be able to soak that up. We do. That's big time. That's a big time soak. We get another turn. But we're frozen? We get freezed? Come on, man. That ain't right. That's not right whatsoever. Take a Sword comes out here. Puts this thing down onto red. Crest is going to be asleep. I think Crest will be asleep for one more turn. Because that was just his first turn. So from here... um. I am just going to sucker punch down this slot, and I'm just going to start palm pumping. I want to do as much damage as I can to uh, Crest here. Looking just ripping the Crest. Sucker punch going to finish you off. They have Ursaluna, and I know they want Trick Room. I know Trick Room is looking to be their best friend, so let's just start chunking that damage here. Slowly but surely. Of course, Amoongus is still frozen. We don't like that. So Ursaluna is going to be the final Pokemon. They do not have Terra. Um... I think Ursaluna just protects and he tries to wake up here. I honestly think that's the play for them. I like honestly, I think that's a 1000% the play. I think Ursaluna just protects. So from here, I'm just gonna double down the crest. Ursaluna's gotta protect here. Yep. So Ursaluna, we make the read on that protect. And we go from there. Ice Spinner's gonna fly here. We're doubling down the crest. Hopefully, this thing's still asleep. That'd be big. But he's looking just to wake up and uh, kind of get after it. Of course, the Moongus is still for solid. And Crest is probably going to wake up. Yep, and Trick Room's going to come out, yeah. So now we are here. I don't think Crest has a hitting move, which could be very beneficial to us. It really could. It really could. Because if it doesn't have a hitting move, I can almost guarantee getting off an Ice Spinner here. So I got an Ice Spinner and... Do I try to put him back to sleep? Yeah, I'm gonna keep. I'm trying to keep this crest just out, out of the picture, right? The headlong rush comes out here. Beautiful. We're able to soak. We got that focus ash. And again, I don't think crest has an attacking move. Some of them actually do not. They kind of just sit there and lunar blessing the whole time. Defense is down. All that good stuff. Amoongus, frozen solid. We love it. And crest ends up having that move, and that's gonna be game. We end up losing this one. Amoongus. If you weren't frozen for three turns, we would have actually won that match. If Amoongus would have would not been frozen there, Crest would have been asleep. We would have kept it under control. Ice Spinner would have finished off, uh, finished him off all day, and that hurts. That really, that actually hurts. Thinking about it that way, losing this one to a little bit of frozen RNG. How often do you do lose a match to frozen RNG? Hardly ever, right? 
hardly ever, but I'm gonna go for the E-Speed. I'm gonna try to wake up here, maybe Rage Powder, but he's just gonna EQ probably, right? Amoogus, four turns, gone and frozen. This is bad, that's real bad. EQ's gonna fire. But E-Speed's gonna do some nice damage. Hold up, headlong rush. See, dude, if you even wake up this turn, if you even wake up that turn, or not wake up, unfreeze, you Rage Powder and we win that match. Cause then I can E-Speed, I can get rid of Ursa Luna. We are thriving. But four turns to freeze, loses us that match up here. We were actually thriving there. That hurts the soul. But one and two for today's video, definitely should have been two and one. Great set of matches for today's video. Loved SQ, that thing was absolutely amazing. But dude, RNG doing me dirty in the third and final battle. We go one and two for today's video. That one hurts, that one definitely hurts. But still, this team was absolutely amazing. SQ was so much fun to use on the rank ladder. But guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to leave a like on it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread this positive today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.